broke the record with a cook-a-thon, meaning that she cooked for the longest hours. After that, we heard that somebody else had done it. But guess what? The person still no get the hype that Hilda has gotten. And now, right here in Ghana, we have another lady who is going to attempt to break the record of the longest singing competition. I'm like, okay, how is she going to do it? Well, she's going to tell us all about that. And she's been trending on social media because of this. People are wondering if she can really do it. But then again, if she can't, why will she even apply in the first place? That's a question that you ask yourself. Asantua is right here with us. Good morning. How good are morning, you? Good morning, Rosalind. You're looking good. Thank you. You look beautiful yourself. I thought you said stressful. Um, it's part of it, isn't it? It is. You're preparing yourself for it? Yes, no I sleep. am. No sleep. What's the pressure like? As in the singing or the public? Everything. Oh, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's expected, even though it came as a shock, because I thought I was going to do this in my little kana, and then when it's done, then Ghanaians will officially get to know. But unfortunately, they sold me out, starting from TikTok. Mm. Yeah, but it's okay. When did you apply for this? 22nd September. That's when you applied for it? Yes. What made you apply in the first place, though? Um, so I heard of Hilda's attempt, and I saw the mileage, and I said, okay. It wasn't even about me. I just went on their website just to educate myself about the stuff that they do. And other records, you know, I just chanced on their Instagram account and all that. Then I saw Longest Singing Marathon, and I realized that the latest or the last attempt or record set was in 2012. So I said, okay, I love to sing. I love music. And I keep hearing, you know, analysts and all, almost all the media houses talk about how we can get Ghanaian music on the uh, international front. So I said, okay, can I link passion with energy and a bit of sacrifice to do this for the Ghanaian music industry? And then I said yes to myself and I applied. Mm. Now, people out there, you know, the main concern was the fact that you are not a professional singer. Yeah. That's you, what you don't say. have to be a professional. You don't have to be singer, a professional yeah. singer. But then, you know, with this, you still have to be able to maintain mm -hmm. uh, the energy yeah. and all of that. And some people say professional singers even struggle with that. So, how okay. are you going to do it? All right. So, this is a record attempt, not an entertainment performance. Okay. I'm not going to you know, Dance. use all the, and at least when you break and you are setting, you can jubilate mm. around those areas. But to, to attempt the record is not for fun. Okay. It needs techniques, you know, you have to put it. I have a coach now. Walk, walk us through the technique. <sighs> I, you don't know who would want to break this next. So okay. let's keep this for us. Okay, okay. Yes. I'll tell you okay. behind the camera. Right, yeah. so there's a technique? There's a technique. Okay, yeah. and now you have a coach? Yes, I do. It's not easy. Mm. Congrats to Efia and all the female. I'll not say the guys. They, they do buga buga at some point, but the ladies, mm. So have you tried to do 24 hours so far? Have you been I, able I, to? I, can't, I, I do four hours in between, but I can't do the 24. All together. I, it has to be the actual attempt. Okay. But they even asked us to film a failed attempt record. Mm -hmm. That's how they call it. Okay. You have to film a failed attempt record. All the stress that goes through, um, you go through during the failed attempt process, they want to see all the challenges, and then it's going to be part of the final evidence you submit. All right. So as of now, you are still filming this? Even this. It's all part of it? Yes. It's part of the... It's not just the D-Day. Everything you see happening on social media has to be added to the evidence to be sent to them. Now, let's talk about, you know, um, when you applied, what was the criteria they used to look at selecting you? Honestly, before you even apply, they tell you that a lot of entries are being rejected daily and they receive about a million entries daily. So you shouldn't have the assurance that they may respond or even accept your um, application. So they told me it would take 12 weeks and they asked a few questions if you're doing this for business purposes or for charity or for entertainment purposes. And I told them that I'm doing this for, um, first of all, charity and entertainment because of the Ghana music factor. And then, yeah, basically, personal details. And that's how you just And they picked. told me it would take 12 weeks. And it took how long? Two weeks. Oh, it took two weeks? That so was the first reply. So were you surprised? Yes. I said, hey. Okay, so I responded and they took me to the next level of the application 
Again, it would take 12 weeks. I said, okay, I calculated and I realized I was entering, 20, entering 2024. I said, okay, at least that's fine. And then another two weeks, there was response. I said, oh my God, and that was an MOU. Okay. An MOU means that you are it's heading also, towards yeah. somewhere. And then the last um, part of it where they will actually tell you that, okay, you can officially go ahead and attempt 12 weeks, but that took three weeks. I said, okay, now the 12 weeks is one way or the other working. So I decided to ignore my mail to avoid seeing denied or anything, only to go check it some days after, and they had replied six days ago. Why? Was there a deadline if you hadn't written? No, they just stated the date that I, I should take off, which was 24th December. Oh, so they gave you the date. You didn't choose the date. So they, they asked you to propose dates, and okay. then they confirm via the acceptance right. via email. Right. So now that you're going to do this, you have a coach. Do you have... Um, are you at the gym as well? Because when we look at somebody like Hilda Bassi, she went into stamina training. So she had a gym instructor who kept on you know, training her to lose weight to be able to stay on her feet for long. Are you supposed to stand as you think? I can stand, I can sit. I even need your couch. That okay, day. you can lie down. Will you give this to me? Anything you want. Uh, yes, <laughs> I can lie down, I can sit, I can stand. But you stand. still have to be singing. Basically. Can you hum as part of it? Yeah. So humming is also singing? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, so you have to I, open I thought mouth. we were talking about hum. Okay, all right. So the humming is not part it's of not, it. Jamming is not allowed. Okay. I mean, no drumming, no imintio, mintio, no, no. Nothing like that. Just go straight to the point, like karaoke. Can you talk in between? Yes, I can. Okay. They, so they understand that music or songs have some seconds breaks, so they, they know all that. Okay. And that's what um, maybe would we'll do as good, because most of our local songs have quite interesting long breaks in them. Okay, okay. So, but how many minutes break or seconds break do you have after Either each we song? go for five minutes after each hour or 20 minutes after four hours. So 20 minutes after four hours or, or five, five minutes, minutes after, after each hour. hour. Okay, and you are doing this for three days? It's not, you see, it's not three days. It's four days, it's nine hours. That days, is when you hours. break. So how, the current record is 105. Okay. 105 is four days, nine hours. Okay. So that is when you break. So you break and decide to set. That is when you travel into the fifth day. Okay. Let me ask you this. And uh, as a woman, one of the things that Hilda Bassi spoke about was her doing that during her menses. Are you, are you worried about go. that? We are good to go. You it's are, sorted. You are not worried. I'm done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> but you know stress can actually no. you know, push it. No. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. I'm okay. You're okay. What about, you know, taking bath breaks and stuff like that? Yes. In the so days? they are aware of all that. And I'm not going to bath every five minutes. I'll bath in the morning and in the evening, of course, unless you have... ...Nigeria that it's got its own name. Keto. How widespread would you say this blackmail phenomenon... They are not supposed to be nowhere related to me or close to me. Like, you can't be a witness. Okay. It has to be an attorney, a security officer. They have specifics. And they have a logbook that at each point in time, they state that, okay, at 8.15, we took our um, official five minutes break. It ended at 8.20, but we took extra four for bath. Okay. So we need to log all those details so that they will know what exactly. So they'll take took. the four minutes out of? At the end of the total hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why Hilda's hours dropped. Right. They had extra minutes. So they're eating at minutes to the they minutes that you have to they eat. Their official all of that five eating. isn't the challenge, but they said you could take more, okay. but it shouldn't distract the flow of the attempt. Okay. So let's say five is official, you can add at least 10, but you need to explain what the extra five was for, but you can do 15, 20. It halts the whole process and then it's, it just ruins it. Do you have so. plans of maybe taking a nap in between? No. So the four days straight, it no nap. Been, what if I, I oversleep? <laughs> you, you have to set an alarm. Headache. You know, sometimes when you're taking a nap and they just wake you up, you have some slight... I, I want to avoid all that. Have you ever tried sleeping, uh, oh, no sleep time. for two days? You know that we do that often, but we don't know. Okay. When we are waiting to enter to, um, the next year, mm -hmm. Um, December the 31st, we the all nights waiting and all that. Yeah, it's, it's, and even during some days I barely sleep. But that's one day, so two days in a row. Have you tried it? I do that often. You I do barely that often. sleep. Okay, so it's good. So the yeah. four days we are good to go, mm -hmm. no sleep. 
unless that day nature decides to visit me. Do we, have, do we have medics on standby? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from the lab. Oh, wow. Sonatec is a partner. Okay. And they just injected me. All right. What are they injecting you with? They took some blood from my some... veins. Some so point. they are running some tests to make sure that you're okay, you're good you enough. See? Are you scared? Are you having cold feet with the... Injection, family? yes, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but the entire process, I'm fine. I mean, some little nervousness and all that, but... I'm, I'm not scared of crowd. I don't have stage fright. No, I'm okay. I asked about the gym earlier, which we didn't. Okay, yeah. That. So I wanted to explain further. Hilda's own was strictly standing, and you need that step now. But the focus here is my voice okay. to be able to sustain it and not have any dryness, to be able to pitch. You know, some of the songs, you think you're doing a low note, all of a sudden they pitch and all that. So the coach is taking me through all those. But of course, there'll be some joggings and but not intense gym like Hilda's. Okay. All right. So that's different then. It's different. Every attempt and it's uh, specific guidelines. Mm. So Another thing that you've come out to say is people should not be too quick to say you have to break their record, but rather you are tempted to break their record. Yeah. And so it's sparked some, you know, conversations behind mm. closed doors. People are saying that, is it that she can't do it and so she doesn't want no. Ghanaians to troll her? No, not at all. I'm not scared about throws. I mean, Rosalind, this is an attempt, right? And we are looking at 105 hours. It's an hour at a time. That's what I don't even look at the days. Okay. When you take the days, it's, it scares you. It makes you think, oh, I barely, I'm, I'm not able to stand a day without sleep. So how can, no, it's an hour at a time. So we are counting the hours to make sure we hit 105. Okay. That's what I'm saying. We shouldn't be quick to jubilate. It's, it's a, let's take it like a normal day activity. And when we are getting there, we know that, yes, we are there. Mm. So we are doing this. We are getting, we are breaking it, but a step at a time. We know you're having a lot of partners coming on board, but exactly. financial support as well? Uh, funny enough, it's coming from individuals, okay. not corporate Ghana, but I understand. So uh, the support has been amazing so far, and Ghana Tourism Authority has officially come on board to support with venue. You know, initially yeah. we, we, we mentioned that we're doing it at Aviation, mm -hmm. but when the flight takes off from the airport, it flies over Aviation. And it takes some... Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so the noise. And then the space offered at a point became a bit scary because their car park cannot contain the number of people that want to come. So okay. GTA had a conversation with them and they agreed that we should move to the Aquaba village, which is the official festive park for this December. So, so far, how many people have uh, called in to be there? Presently? Hey, I can't count. <laughs> I just received a note from, you know, some youth group in the Volta region that they need a screen to view and all that. So they're, they're coming in. Mm. In their numbers. Yeah, and it's free. We, oh, so it's free? It's free, yeah. I mean, they said it has to be an open space where the public can come and even inspect the setup and all that. So we can't, we can't restrict anyone. Mm. So as audience, when I come in, can I sing along with you or I can't sing along? You know when you go to church and the choir is singing, sometimes you're able to sing on a low. Mm -hmm. That one is fine. But imagine they play, you know, the public's favorite song and they want to shout, no. Then we are all in trouble. We'll end up spoiling the entire record attempt. Oh, so every, so what? We have to be quiet. Not you can dance, you can clap, you can wave, you can sing. You know, just solemnly, not like screaming. You can scream. You can I, sing out. They just want to hear me. Okay, that's all. So nobody can sing out. Yes. Do you, are you doing? You this? can do. You, I don't want to sing any kind of song, okay. but just you know. Um, some whispering will do. Okay. But you know when a group whispers, it kind of overshadows yours. So the silence will be the best thing. So I think that's the sacrifice Ghanaians need to also do right. on their part right. to, to make quiet. this work. Yeah. So any other things that we can't do as, uh, you know, audience on that day? Yes. I think one key factor they also mentioned is not to associate the attempt with any alcoholic brand unless they approve and confirm that you can go ahead. So. Okay. Please, the public shouldn't come there with any alcoholic stuffs. Oh. You might not know which video or which camera might capture what. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if I... there's any brand that wants to come on board, I need to contact my records manager and inform him that because of Guinness, 
I can't unless they approve of it. Then I can proceed. Okay, so if, but if Guinness comes on board, that's fine. That it's Guinness. Okay. Yeah. If Smirnoff comes, because Smirnoff is also part of Guinness. I don't want trouble. Okay. I just have to tell them that this brand is coming on board, approved or not, approved, I'm good. Are we going to be serving drinks to... The there are sponsors the... coming on board okay. to, you know, Refresh serve them. them. I mean, this is not cooking, so mm -hmm. I can, So they are taking charge of the public and all that. And I'm sure Ghana Tourism Authority are also making plans for the day. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you also um, going to be doing this with a band or you're singing alone? I'm singing alone, not even miming. I'm doing a karaoke. So we, we have a giant screen displaying the lyrics, and then I'll be singing along. Oh. Mm -hmm. But you would hear the, the instrumentals, and then that's where I'm praying that Ghanaians will control it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to create a booth where I'll be in, and then maybe soundproof it a mm. bit to uh, ignore all these extra sounds. Mm. Right. Now, you have some media partners as well. We are official media partners. Oh, definitely. Okay, so we will be broadcasting it yeah, live. Yeah. And uh, do you have any others? Yes. I mean, this is a nationwide um, activity. It's just like the Black Stars going for World Cup. So we, they, they didn't even allow us to make any exclusivity. Okay, but we are, we are official. Though. Yes, oh, definitely. Official. I'm not taking that away yeah. from you. But because all the evidences are to be submitted at the end of the day, right. we need extras mm. to attach to it. So all media houses are on board, but we have specific areas for, like you are handling the yeah. main project. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have GBC also coming on board to telecast it live on Lifestyle Channel. Like they said they want to do it like a reality show. So we have a few more on board. Mm. And I appreciate your support. I mean, to stream, for me, is a big deal. I know what goes into it. Yeah, to do, because so we, are, we are actually yeah. showing it live from yeah. uh, the 24th to the 27th. And what time are we starting on 24th? 12 a.m. 12 a.m. So that's that's exactly the day. If we don't start at 12, we'll be running in two days and we'll end up on 29th. Okay. You understand? Okay. So we start at exactly 12 a.m. That's a full day for 24th. And then it continues in that mm. manner. Will you feel disappointed if you are not able to break the record? No. Who has never failed? We all do. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I, I, see, I listen and I read the comments, and it's about my inner self and what I want to do. So this is me. That is God. This is a human body. There's a soul. If the body decides to fail me, it's God who allowed it, but he started this so he will finish it. Mm. I, I will not be disappointed and I will not disappoint Ghanaians either. So you're going to finish it by God's grace? If you see me sleeping, just wake me up. <laughs> Let, let's be each other. Are, are they able to walk up to you to say something to you? How close yeah, can, I mean, can the audience get to you? No, not the audience. Okay. I mean, there are operations, there are team members, there are, you know. So we have those who have actual access to my booth. Okay. And then those who have access beyond the booth and all that. So that all those arrangements have been put oh, in Also, you are going to be in a booth? Yes, a very big one. Okay. Where the witnesses and the timer and even the DJs will be... With your coach as well? Exactly, in the booth. How many DJs are you working with? Hey, so many. Thanks to Mercury Kui. Okay. So many. They are working on my songs. I'm sure they are done. Mm. Yeah. Are we doing more of gospel songs or are we are doing... What genre are we looking at? Oh, gospel, high life. What's your favorite song? I have a lot of favorite songs. Mention one. A lot. Let me see if it's better. If I do one, um, I think the artists are going to come you, at you, me. Uh -huh. So I have a lot of okay. them. A lot. Okay. Uh, I mean... I mean, we're doing all. And they, want, they, they stated that they should be popular songs. So most of the upcoming artists have DM that I should include their songs, but unfortunately, oh. I can't. So if they say popular, what's the, what kind of popularity are they looking at? Because popularity is actually... So songs that, very... I mean, any Ghanaian can... You don't know who their reps are. They may or might have reps here, we, we don't know. So it should be songs that they can easily identify. Because any song I do will be recorded. And they need to track it and know that indeed the words I was saying was not my own words. What you can't miss words. And no, you have to sing every word. Yeah. So when you check the current record holder's slides, he had a book and a laptop. You know, singing almost all the singing attempts. They have notes to keep the records in there. Wow. Mm. So we cannot sing any other words. So they have either. to be songs that I'm really comfortable with. 
I cannot say I'm doing this so I have to learn this particular song. It has to be songs that I know over the years, which of course, by God's grace, I know a number of them. So how many songs are we doing? Hey, Rosalind. But you people said I'm doing 3,200. What? How many, are, how many songs are you singing? I'm doing 3,200. How many songs are you singing? Okay, so when you do the calculations, 30 songs will give you an hour. Okay. And we can repeat songs after four hours. Okay. So we can have budgets of four hour songs. Okay. Lined up. So 30 times four. And that is about 100 and what? 20. 20. So you can have batches of 120 songs. So about four batches so should be good. About five. Any, five any, I mean, it depends good. on my strength. My coach um, equally needs to help me know which songs I'm comfortable with so I don't strain mm. the voice. Okay. And uh, your do you want to disclose who your coach? Coach Freeman. I, I had him via your platform okay. on Joy FM. Okay. And he's been amazing. Right. I go there and I don't want to go home. I think I'm becoming an, a musician already. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your coach. What does he do? Um... Ah, breathtaking exercises that, you know, it goes a long way. We do not know. He shared a secret with me. I'll share it with you as to how women can even, you know, see my tummy just through the coaching exercises a few oh, days wow. ago. Yeah, okay. how to use breath control to, you know, do a lot of stuff in the body, how to pitch and all that. So he's doing amazing. Mm. Well, he in particular, um, let's let's look at his record as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Because if you say you have a coach, mm -hmm. everybody out there will be wondering. He has a record. You know. Okay, tell us about his I record. I mean, he's trained, should I say, almost all, all the top artists in Ghana. And I mean, his sense of humor and his patience. I'm like, I'm not paying you for this, but you're, he's, Acting like my dad or something, the reception is amazing and the professionalism. I thought, you know, the coaching was going to be, you know, you have to sing this, you have to do that. But hey, we are doing it like a prophet, like should I say Michael Jackson kind of professional? <laughs> I'm like, take it easy on me. I'm just, I'm just going for a competition. I'm not a fear. You understand? Yeah. Did he so, approach you or you approached him to help you? Okay, so Va. Your platform again, Joy FM. I had an acquaintance with him on the show, and he mentioned that he saw the flyers on social media, and he saw the passion and the energy that I was coming with, and he thought that he was the right person to lead me through it. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's fantastic. So we started right there. But have other people reached out to you to coach as well? Yes, they have. Um, Abiana. Okay. Abiana reached out mm. and she has, she's got strong vocal. Right. Yeah. But she's also healthy. But because of Coach Freeman, on the side, the encouragement and some of the do's and don'ts. And Kobe also reached out, Kobe Rana. Oh, that's fair. He's an amazing guy. I told him to come and dance. He's an I'm, amazing guy. Singing. So there could be performances alongside. All right. It's allowed. Mm. Any artist can come through but cannot sing through a microphone and it can't exceed four hours with me. Okay. So right after four hours, the artist will have to leave. Yeah, so let's say if I'm doing a kiddie song and he wants to come through, he can be in the booth, but he, but can he can't, in on, like, through a microphone, no. But he can sing by you. Yeah, but can't go more than four hours with me. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So artists that, are you, can we mention some of them? Because maybe they want hey, to be Rosalind. there. No, because they are watching it. You just Probably. said that you don't want trouble. No, no. So you see, <laughs> they're, they're definitely, let's say, you mentioned Kitty. Maybe you're doing like Kitty's song. So right now that we've said it, Kitty will put in his calendar that he will have to I, be there. I said, let's say Kitty. No, so <laughs> Kitty, should he put it in his calendar? Of course. Okay. I mean, All right. Resley, don't do this should, to you. Should Stone Boy See? put 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th in his calendar? Yes. All Ghanaian Should music. Shatawale put it in All his calendar? Ghan Shatter posted me and I was really grateful. So he should put it in his calendar. All Ghanaian musicians. We need a timing for them. We want to, because that energy is different. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The that, energy of you singing, um, um, that was, what's that say? I go take bullet for you. <laughs> no be one, no be two. You are singing I go no. take bullet for you. <laughs> Make I protect you with my bullet. <laughs> and then Shatter is sitting by are you. Are you talking or you are singing? Take that again. No, take that again. <laughs> I go take bullet for You're you. You're talking. I say maybe no be one, no be two. The shatter is sitting by you. Shatter is giving you. And the shatter will be throwing the money on you. <laughs> Imagine that kind of energy. Rosalind, all I'm saying is that this is for the Ghanaian music industry. 
the list is tall. Mm. Sometimes I even pity the DJs. I can go on and on, but the, the focus is attempting to break. So all the techniques needed is not about the number of songs, but I can assure you that most of the Ghanaian artist songs are on the list. Okay. That's nice. We make sure that we don't miss out. If we miss out on anyone, then it means that it would, it would distract the attempt. Okay. And we, we don't want to risk it. So mm. it's not like it's a deliberate thing that I don't want to sing the song. Some of the songs, I can do the first verse, the chorus. When you're about getting to two minutes, there's a patois there. Ah, so now you have to skip that patois. Okay. And it would mean that the DJs will have to do some, you know, so... All the artists are in there. Let, let me ask you this. Are the gospel songs easier to sing than the secular songs? Both of them. It depends on the kind of song. and. But let me say the gospel does more than the secular ones. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because when they do a verse, you can even take a bath and come and then continue. Oh, for the gospel songs? Yeah, the space in there is huge. Mm. You can rest. Okay, than the secular songs. Yeah. What do you do aside, you know, um, the singathon? What do you do for a living? Hmm, entrepreneurship events. Okay. Um, reality shows, mainly for women. Okay, mainly for women. Yeah, I know the, the guys are fighting me on social media, but it's mainly for women mm. to empower them. I always say that I didn't get the opportunity to be groomed by anyone. So the little knowledge that I gathered from those I look up to, I want to extend it to the younger ones. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I do. Okay, so you have an event for women. And then reality shows for young girls to okay. empower them as well. Oh, that's fantastic. So after Singathon, what's next? Have you thought about it? Yes, I keep getting um, inbox messages, record labels reaching out if I would want to venture into music, but no. You don't want to? I don't know what the future holds. Never say never, but that's not my, my focus. Mm. I don't think I was destined to be a musician. Probably I was destined to help project musicians works mm -hmm. but not to be a musician and you don't want to do it at all it was enough for more it's not easy would you want to be a musician I, if i had a voice okay do you have some a, don't have the do voice you have the voice but, some don't have the voice but they are singing mm, i'm yet I'm, to not, I'm not talking about Ghanaians. I, I mean i'm i'm generalizing this okay yeah but i'm yet to meet them those who don't have the voice oh dear, my young... but do you have the voice is another thing that people have been asking okay so my coach would tell you that everyone has a voice it depends on how well trained or the training you get and then which angle you want to go so which angle do you want to go personally i don't intend becoming a musician <laughs> <laughs> and that's what i'm saying never say never but I, no that's not my focus mm, right now mm. i'm doing this for the industry after this i'll go back to work how many musicians have reached out to you the popular ones Ooh. apart from shatter who has posted Famille. Famille has Famille reached out to me in my inbox abiana A.K. Songstress. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hope I don't forget anyone. Adam. Uh, Roslyn. Help me. Shatawali. Shatawali, yes. Stoneboy? Uh, Not, Not yet. Sakodie? Wendy Shea. Wendy. Oh, okay. And then Sifa. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. You haven't mentioned any gospel artists yet. None has posted me yet. Oh, wow. How but it's fine. I mean, it's not for the high Roslyn. Mm. It's not. I mean, I wish the attempt record would be broken and then all the excitement can take off. Yeah, it's fine. You did mention that when you were growing up, you didn't really have anyone to groom you. How was growing up like for you? Mm, I, I was not that kind of friendship type. So I was always indoors. That's how mom groomed me. You don't step out after 8 p.m., those kind of rules. So I just fell in love with music. Sometimes when mom gives you a knock, you don't have anywhere to go than your room. So when I'm crying, I just sing. So basically, I grew up very isolated. What schools did you attend? Achimota Basic School, um, Seven Day Senior High, Sunyani Polytechnic, and then Ghana Institute. Oh, you of lived Ghana in Sunyani? Yes, I, I, I was there for it, two or three, three years. Okay. And then one Mr. Kwaba. Okay. <laughs> and then I came back to GIJ. Okay. And then I placed second runner-up in Miss Tourism Ghana in 2014. How come you didn't go into journalism then? 
I did, but no, some... we know you did a bit of you I, know. I, I, was it internship or something here, right here, multimedia? I did internship and yeah. then I con I did national service. National service, yeah. And then I continued a bit, but I think sometimes when you find your purpose, it conflicts with your profession, so you, you have to decide which one you're going in for. And I, I went in for my, my papers. Okay. I found my papers. Are you ever going to go back into journalism? Hey, I need Jerusalem before me. Hey. Let's see. Really? Have you thought about it, though? I have. I nearly did before this came. Okay. No. I nearly, especially sports journalism. Okay. Yeah, I really had passion for sports, and I wanted to channel the energy towards the female um, sports journalism. Immediately I started this game, so I had to put it on hold. So are you going to go back to it? For that, I can say yes. If, if there is time, I will. Is there any station that you're working with, or is a, a it was a third party? It was a third party. Thing. I haven't officially associated mm. myself with mm. any media house yet. How did your family take it when you told them about uh, the My mom phone? cried. <laughs> My mom cried, my dad cried at the conference. My other sister didn't believe, she didn't even take me serious until she, I, we officially released the artwork and she put it on her state and people were like, really? She's in the state anyway, she's in Cali. So they were like, really? Okay, then she go, ah, <laughs> So, I mean, they were, I think they are still shocked and they are all anticipating like every Ghanaian waiting to see what, because I've been explaining like we're doing now to my mom every day, and then she'll call me. I just saw on YouTube that you're so bad to 3,000. So I'm saying, man, yeah, 3,000. <laughs> so I keep explaining, but they are okay. Mm. They are fine. They are praying. Yeah, that's good. And they're going to be there on that day. My dad on is the here. Day. My mom is not here. Okay. My mom is in California with my sister. So okay. it's just my elder brother, my dad, and then my husband, and then the kids. So how many siblings do you have? Three. We three. Have three. Okay, that's nice. Are you the first or? The last. You're the last. Okay, baby last. <laughs> And how many children do you have? Three girls. So how do they feel about it as well? Do you know, I think on Friday w was their last paper. We had to take them to grandpa because even in school, the teachers, the cleaners, the students, it was too much for them. And the good thing is it's vacation time. It's too much for them as well. Yeah, I mean, they come and, mommy, my cleaner said she saw you and you're going to do singathon and then... It, they were so frustrated and I said, okay, after exams, let's just take you straight to grandpa. But their concern was where to watch it because, of course, they can't come to the venue. So I told them that they can watch it. Why can't they be there? Are children forbidden? It's for security purposes. Okay. Yeah, okay. for security purposes and emotional purposes. I don't need that at the moment. Uh, why? When you see them, oh, I'm, I'm an emotional person. And oh, okay. Because when I'm re rehearsing at home, they jump along and, you know, all the food and stuff. So I don't want to see them during that period. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So if first children cannot be present during yeah. the finger thing, because <laughs> When I break cry. the record and I, I, I'm in the process of setting, they can come around. Okay, but until yeah. then. What about your husband? Is he allowed He's going to be there 24-7. Okay. He's not sleeping. With him, too. you are not crying? <laughs> <laughs> He shouldn't come close to the glass. <laughs> he can be around coordinating stuff, but I just want to be there. Mm. Yeah. I just want to feel like, sorry, imprisoned, and you have to sing to, you know, find your way out. Who and who will you be extremely excited to see by your side on that day? By my side? Family or public? Anyone. <sighs> of course, my husband. Aside your husband, aside family, let's let's go yeah, that's why I'm, I'm yeah. Aside I'm, family, who would you want to be present that you see this person and say, "Wow, this person actually came to take a seat by me." She's no more, Ebony. Ebony, you would have loved her yeah. to be there. Why Ebony? Her passion for music. Can we get a tissue, please? We need a tissue. Thank you. Tissue, please. Yeah, so her passion for music and her stagecraft. Oh, my God. I can't control this. We can get tissue. Can please come. Can? Yes, please come. Thank you.
Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Why? I'm fine. Yeah. What about Ebony? would have made you laugh. She loved music and I could really easily resonate with her. I remember I used to tell my husband during her performance that I can do exactly what she was doing, but it's just unfortunate that I was an entrepreneur and you know that in those positions you can do certain things. Yep. And she just made music easier for me. You could feel that she had a free spirit regardless of whatever that she was going through. And then, yeah, basically. If you had one word to tell Ebony if she was alive today, what would you have said to her? Rosalind, don't make me cry. They say human beings, the body dies, but the spirit never dies. And probably she's here, she's present, and she could hear you. So maybe there's a time for you to tell her what you want to tell her. Do you know people didn't understand her? When she started, people didn't really understand her until she died. It was a craft, but she had good spirits and she really wanted to do a lot for Ghanaian music. She really wanted to because all I'll say is that wherever she is, she made her impact, she made a mark that I don't think there are you no know, yet unborn babies to come but I, I don't think anybody can feel in her shoes. But wherever she is, she touched a soul one way or the other. And we say thank you. Do you have a personal relationship with her? No, I actually booked to have an, <clears throat> an interview with her on my show, Queen Sarina Den. And just, I think, probably a week or a few days to the day she passed away. Oh, wow. How did you feel when you heard about her? I was on Adum TV for an interview when the news broke that day. And it's fine. Her spirit lives on. Definitely, I know her spirit will be there to back you as well. Hey, no, you can't contain me. <laughs> <laughs> no, then you can't contain me. Yeah, I can be that, that, um, I don't want to use the word. You crazy. are her number one fan. Uh. Beyond number one, if there's something like zero. Yeah, I mean, if she's, if, if she, and I remember this, in Sunyani Polytechnic during our Miss Akwaba, mm. I decided to do perform um, All the Single Ladies by Beyonce. Okay. I used two weeks to rehearse, and I just got a fracture on my leg, I think, three days to the actual event. So mm -hmm. everybody was like, oh, she can do it, she can do it. And up to, until today, I, I, I've been thinking, I, I think spirits do work. Because mm -hmm. that day, I don't know what happened. I started and finished without knowing. All those who know me during that time can attest to the fact that I performed all the single ladies, did all the dances, everything. Even with a fracture on your leg? I didn't see. I didn't see anything. So why are people bashing Sonny Badu? It happens. I mean, you have to rehearse. Even now, anything can happen, which yeah. we pray that nothing yes. happens. But you are doing all that you can to make this work. So when it gets to that day, it's different. Anything can happen. Do you have any similarities with uh, Bonnie Rain so that you love her so much? Because your passion for her is, is something else. I don't know. It's just natural. Just like her. I don't know. The very first time I saw her video on TV, I said, hmm. That was where it started. I don't have any personal relationship with her. I never met her in person. It was just a distant stuff, but I could feel what she really wanted the to passion. do, the passion and what she really wanted to do. Mm. And unfortunately, I mean, that's why I said God is in control of everything. He knows when it starts and when it ends. But I think whatever she was meant to do, she did it. And I mean, when they play her song, she's gone, but still here. Mm. Yeah, so 
I don't know, but if you are inviting her spirits, you should be careful what you're asking for. Are you going to do any of her songs on that? Day? Definitely, all her songs. All her songs? Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that what you're starting with? <laughs> to keep the energy going? <laughs> and no, that's not what I'm starting with, but she's in there. Okay. Yeah, she's in there. And her love for her, okay, let me not go there. Mm. I don't want trouble. What, what were you going to talk about? Her love for her? The love for her, I, I don't know. Rosalind, let me know good. No, just tell me. Pass, which, which, which love? What oh. love are we talking about? Love for what? Love for, for her songs, for her personality. You know when she passed away, many people were like, it cannot be transferred to Wendy. So I thought I would, I would find, you know, some challenge. So it, it was easy. Mm. I could easily connect to Wendy. So now you would love to have Wendy Shea seated by you. I, so let me say that all the female artists, I'm doing their songs. Okay. All female artists in Ghana? Yeah. Circular? Or all oh, gospel oh. female artists? I'm doing all. Oh, wow. Yeah. Every female gospel artist. Unless song. I don't know or I can't do your song. Okay. But if I can, they are in there. Or oh, Papa Christie is in there. Yeah. PCS that. Why you be yo? Now on you, yeah. It's in there. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's for Ghanaian music. Mm. Yeah, this is for Ghanaian music industry. It's not about me. Obapa Christie has a song. You know that song? <laughs> are you singing or you <laughs> <laughs> are we doing it? It's one of my favorite songs. I can't, I, I'm not going to do I won't tell you. But okay. all I'm saying is that the female, I mean, I'm, I, I, I love women empowerment. I can't do this without promoting my women. Mm. I wish we had enough female artists to frontline my list, yes, but of course, the guys too are pushing, mm -hmm. so they are in there. Mm. But I can say that about 90% of the ladies are in there. That's great. And so that day, and um, you, you said you are going to be taking just tiny, tiny breaks. Let me ask you this hey, question. Five minutes is five, not tiny. Is it, is it, is it enough? If, 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 you, if you are not supposed to sleep and they are giving you five after each hour, it's not, to me, it's not tiny. It's not tiny. I cherish it. Are there certain foods that you cannot eat? So as part of their specific guidelines, there should be a health team, uh, an ambulance, a dietitian, and a masseuse. Okay. So what can't you eat? Mm, I'm, I have to do more fruits. So you can't I can't do, can do soups things? because of Belgian. Okay. I can't do a lot of stuff. But the dietitian knows how to, at what point what I need will be. But for now, as you're preparing yourself, are there foods you can't eat? No, I, I eat everything. You eat everything? You eat fufu? Yeah. You eat bangu? I ate fufu yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I can eat everything, but I think prior to the date, there'll be some slight changes. Can you take alcohol? Uh, no. Hey, I understand me the microphone number to WhatsApp. No, I mean, for now. No, 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 I'm not even an alcohol person. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not an alcohol person. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, we can do all meals. But most importantly, fruits and vitamins. I think we are. Maybe we have four lines to know what people have to say. And also, if you want to send a message to us, do send messages to us and uh, we'll read it. If you have any questions for if are this morning, send your messages to us. Our call, our number, we are activating the phone line. We are, we are giving you an opportunity to speak with Ifua live on television today. So call us and now, speak with Ifua, send your messages to us. We'll read it. Oh, All the questions that you want to ask, oh, this is the time to ask the questions. Um, she says she's not scared. First of all, she's not scared. She's not having cold feet yet. We don't know if she'll have it before. And she says she's attempting. So... The trolls, dear, even if he comes crash, she's not thinking about trolls, right? <laughs> Rosalie, you've been there. Haven't you been there? I haven't attempted to break a record. Uh, no, but the trolls is not just for record attempt. Well, God, God, no, but, but Rosalie, even the application acceptance is a big deal. It's a big deal, yes. I was shocked. Because we know there are a lot of people out there who are trying and they've been, they've been trying denied. And they've been denied. And so, so that's what I'm saying. This is, it came as a miracle for me. And I know this is a God deal. Right. So it's, it's, it's in his hands. Amen.
Let's see. I, I saw some messages on Facebook. If I can see the messages, let's see the messages that have come in on Facebook. Uh, Ken Ismail says, my question is, uh, not being a musician, has she gathered enough songs to be singing for so long? I think she's already answered, yeah, right? Have, yeah. yeah, she has. Nanako Jasari says, concert, she is taking you people for a ride, oh. calling for sponsorship. Apu, how do you feel I, about I've that? I've not called for sponsorship, have I? We, I don't even have to call for sponsorship. It's, it's against their rules. And I can't even solicit for funds. But Rosalind, who would wake up and say that I'm not going to sleep for four days? For what? There are so many ways to be popular in Ghana. I can, do, I can twerk. I can do a whole lot of stuff. But I'm denying myself festive season. I'm denying myself family bond and a whole lot. So, what, what, so why are you doing it then? I'm doing it for the passion and for Ghanaian music. It's okay. not about me. Okay. But it's come with a lot of fame. I didn't call for it. I, I was running Helter Skelter in my room asking what was happening. At a point, I wanted to find out if I was still alive. Because, I mean, in Ghana, bad news trends than good news. But for the first time, the love shown has been amazing. It's not about... Rosalind, you know what I do. If I want to be famous, sometimes they even cook the fame. I can cook. But not this. Right. Isiyama Bernard Abaye says, someone should advise her to stop. She's already developing gout. Can't you all see this is not worth it? I repeat, it, this is not. Really, Isiyama? It's allowed. Really? It's even when, when Jesus Christ came, they doubted him. Okay. I like it this way. Mm -hmm. I'm Ponsa Gladys says, hi, good morning. I'm watching you live from Enyinem uh, Moswaso, Eastern Region. The youngest female CEO of Junior Armour Football Club. Gladys, uh, keep up the good work. All right. Um, okay, I've already read Nanako Joasari's own. And uh, you can also send in your messages to us or do call us. Are our phone lines activated? If they're activated, please call. You have the opportunity to speak to Ifwa. Please, encouragement is needed. Let's see how the Nigerians did it. Please, let's do it for our own as well. Too much negativity. Let's keep the positive work going because it's only positivity that's going to help us win. Because if she breaks this, guess what? Ghana goes into the book of records. Okay, <laughs> so it's not about her alone, but Ghana's name will also go into the Guinness Book of Records. So this whole negative vibe and then she's developing this, developing that. Why don't you pray for her? It will help you to do that. <laughs> so send in your messages to us. Uh, call us. If you have any questions as well, do send your questions to us. She's still here. She's not gone here. We are here till 10. So we have about what? 15, hey, it looks like we have 15, 15 or 5 minutes, 10 minutes to go. We have just about 15 minutes to go. So call us. I think the numbers are on, the, on, on, on there. So just call us and have a conversation with her. Maybe you can also aid her if you're a dietitian and you have any advice for her. Are you willing to take advice? Yes, I do take them. Mm. And no, maybe you have your team already. So yeah, as I mentioned, Sonotech is our official health partner. But there are even more health partners coming on board because it's, it's not just about me that day. It's about the external team, even the public. You know, 30. 30. Are they all getting paid? Um, they are not getting paid. They are all doing this for Ghana, not for me. Because if it's just for me, it would have been monetary conversations. So they are doing it voluntarily. Mm. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised that you have 30 members coming in. Did you we open an application? Or uh, no. How did, they, how did they get in? They reached out to me the very first day I broke the news. And most of them have been monitoring from afar. I know what they do and what they are capable of. So I know that when they are on board, it adds up to make um, the journey easier. Mm. And then uh, now, I can see your, your husband follows you everywhere you go now. Ah. Has he quit his job? <laughs> he hasn't. He hasn't. But most of the time, he works on the phone or on the laptop. Okay. I mean, just Is he your doing manager? We've not, so you see. Let me, let me answer this call and I come back <laughs> okay. to that. Uh, hello, Diane. Mm -hmm. Hello, good morning. Ha, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, how are you too? We are doing fantastic. What do you want to say? I just want to tell her that she should keep up the good work. And then she shouldn't let the negativity. We are all here, we pray for her. I like her personality, her confidence, and... The steps are so taken to do them. So she says, move on and not into anything negative. 
you don't read anything negative to her too. She doesn't need it. That's what I want to say to her. All right, thank you so much, Diane. All right. Uh, you can also call and give your advice to her, send in your messages to us, and we'll read it. Yes, you were telling me your husband has... Yeah, been, so... Is, is he your manager? We, we've not gotten there yet, Roslyn. <laughs> so you don't know if he's a manager or not? No, I mean, we are not doing business with this. It's, it's an attempt. You understand? And even after, we still remain the same. It's not like a business management that, you know... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All but right. he's there. He's been there and he's still there. So he's taking some leave days for you. Yes. He's, he... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rita. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, Great. can I speak, please? Please go ahead. I'm praying for her. Amen. She didn't even listen to any negativity at all. I'm Amen. on her side. I'm going to share up. I wish I could be there. Oh, I love her so much. Oh. I love it. I love all her. right, Rita. Now, I'm sure. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for calling. Hello, Esther. Hello, Jim. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please talk to us. I want, yes. I want to tell her she's doing amazing. She's making the young lady so proud of her. God bless her. We are praying for her and encouraging her. I have so much trust in her. She can push it. She can even do more than she has planned to do. Amen. We are praying for her and we love her so much. All the ladies in Ghana are so proud of her. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for calling. Let's go to Tamale. Hello, Pat. Hello. How are you? I'm good. That's why you are looking so great. <laughs> Thank you. You know the funny thing that happened this morning? Talk to us. Tell it's us. That my voice is not good. I wasn't feeling well. And oh, sorry. And the with you, the last time I listened or I watched Joy Prime is when my DSTV is not connected. But oh. this morning, I was sleeping, and I had a dream. A certain woman was shouting naked. And I also asked, ah, which station is that? This is Joy Prime. And I quickly changed to the station. But this girl right there, she's a winner. Go high, lady. We love you. You'll do it. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, maybe we can take just about two or... Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What's your name again? Um, please, I'm Jenna. I'm calling. How is Kumari? Alhamdulillah, everything is okay. Great. Talk to us. Please, I want to speak to you. Please go ahead. Amen. Thank you. All right, Eric. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Eric. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm fine. Thank you. Talk to us. All right. We are all behind our system. Yeah. She's a winner. Um, uh, this, this, this is something we are all praying for. And I'm going to say truth. Yeah, we are praying with my sister. All right. Um, all right, bye -bye. Eric. Bye. Have a good day. Okay, so I don't know if I've exceeded my... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Because the, the calls kept coming in and coming. I wish we could answer everybody's call, but unfortunately, <laughs> time is not on our side for us to keep going and going and going. Maybe we have... Can, can we answer a few? Or we have some comments. Do we have some comments? Okay, so Mami Anazwam says, I love your courage and I wish you the best of luck. Much love. Thank you so much, Mami. Protocol John Demay says, I just love how calm she is. I know she's definitely going to break the record. Abochi Sena says, I love your courage, my sister, forever, for, for whatever, but what's never.
Okay, so you at home can also send in your messages. What do you think? If you have any encouraging words, please do send in your encouraging words. Obapanya Media, Judith says, you see the men sending those negative comments? They have not even worn a woman's hat before. But look at them. Ghanaians, please support her like you will do for your political parties, okay? We are behind you, dear. I'll go and look for her. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> So, as I said, you can be sending your messages to us as well. Let's wish her well on the 24th all the way to the 27th Seven plus, plus nine. nine hours. Yeah. You can actually go and support her and it's actually free of charge. It's free. Free. And can I chip in something? Yes, please go ahead. So, um, of course, I can't answer all the questions coming in from the public, but the very key one that they need to understand that even the media tour is part of the evidence to con conclude on everything that I'm going to do. How does negative comments make you feel? Because we read a few of them. Sometimes I read and I laugh. I read ignore. It's, it's okay. I mean, you can have everybody cheering you. I'm even scared of the numbers that are cheering me on compared to the numbers that are not cheering me on. Because the likelihood of the fact that those cheering you on could even turn around is easy. So you're scared? I'm not scared. I'm okay, Rosalind. No, I mean, you're scared of the, those I people who are cheering you. I have killed any human being. I'm attempting a record. Adam Patricia says, <laughs> don't listen to what people say. Do what is good for you. Okay. Yeah. We need you to be encouraging her. And uh, the support actually goes a long way, doesn't it? It does. It does. And from international bodies, I, I sometimes I even feel like it's just a, an Accra thing. And then you are being reminded that, no, hey, wake up. Mm -hmm. This is a world stuff. So I'm just taking it easy. Mm -hmm. I'm not rushing this. I want to sing it passionately like I do all the time and take it an hour at a time. Have you gotten some messages coming in from the international bodies as well? Aside people in Ghana supporting you. Yeah, so I have a few people reaching out from our sister neighboring countries and then some media houses from the state and a few other countries. Okay. Yeah. And they're asking for an interview? Yes, they want to find out what's going on, how it's going to... Most people do not... You see, we, we don't like reading. Yeah. Mm. We refuse to read because I'm supposed to share all necessary documents with the public, which I have. I've released all the guidelines for everybody to be, you know, used to before the day, but still, you know, it's, it's allowed. Okay. Uh, Priscilla Kipko says, good morning, Joy Prime. Okay, if I can have it again. Uh, Priscilla says, good morning, Joy Prime. I can see if is a goal getter. I like her passion. She shouldn't be discouraged. Wishing her the very best. All right, Priscilla, thank you so much for sending in your message. And uh, we are still taking in messages. If you have any message for Ifwa this morning, do send it to us. Actually, I was going to say send it to her. No, send it to <laughs> us. And uh, we'll read it. Sheila Stechi says, I know when she set her mind on a target, get achieved. Okay. Go break a leg. <laughs> All right. So those of you who want mm -hmm. to send in your messages, mm -hmm. please do send in your message. Oh, fortunately, I don't have the time. I wish I could have more time. You, you come and back me. Yes. I, 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 I might sing off key. My, you sing my, off key. I sing off key a lot. <laughs> I say, if no bay, I feel your master name in my home bay. I'm going to sing it. I hope you sing that song. But this will actually make you tired. This one? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, you're talking. You're not singing. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Let me, I need a coach. Anyway, <laughs> so 24th it is. And, yes, um, so it's no more Aviation Social Centre. It's the Aquaba Village. And it's on the airport runabout towards Hajj Village stretch. Are you familiar with that stretch? Yes, I know the Hajj Village stretch. Yes. I know it very well. Yes, so um, the Ghana Tourism Authority have dubbed that area the Aquaba Village. Mm. That's where it will be so held. So it's that airport? Airport. So you can walk from the runabout yeah. to the venue. It's very the polo easy. Either the Polo Court runabout. You won't get to either the Polo Court or the, the airport, airport runabout. runabout. Okay. Yes, and then we'll all meet there. There'll be a lot to eat and drink. There'll be a lot of music to dance to. And again, it is 24 to 27 plus nine hours to break the record that we are attempting. And after that nine hours, any other minute or second on our, or hour is a record set. Okay. So the focus is on the attempt break it. Do you have the, some pastors calling you to pray for you? 
Yes, I had a few calling to pray, um, to pray for me, but I'm, I'm expecting to hear from one pastor. Okay. Uh, he prayed for Ebony. Uh, okay, Dr. Lorisete? Yes. Okay. I love him so much. Okay. So, Dr. Laurie Sete, if I is waiting for you, <laughs> if I thank you so much for being here. Thank you too for having me. And, uh, I'm grateful. We are wishing you the very best. I on we're going to say we are coming to back key. Of course, everybody's going to be there. You we are singing, all going to be there. Rosalind. I, I will sing off key, but I'll sing. Thank you. Yeah. That's all I want. Yes. So, uh, 24th, 27th, we'll nine. be there. Plus nine hours, we'll be there. And uh, we wish you the very best. Thank you. Yes, you need God's strength. Anyway, uh, that has been all for today's show. And uh, if you want to go support, please go support. And uh, the negativity, we should cut down on the negativity and do more positivity because that's the only way we can win. Ghana, yaya, DNA. If we want to be international, this is how we do it. Support your own. My name is Rosalind Feli. This has been the big interview. And this has also been... Prime morning, I didn't do this alone. I did this with K to the M to the J and Estiedua Akomiana. KMJ's name is Kweku Menu Judas. So for those of you who don't know how to pronounce his name, you think it's KMJ, it is actually Kweku Menu Judas. That's his name. My name is Rosalind Feli. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.